goes swing of the bat again. All right, what's in this one? Oh boy! Oh, the money uh, shot. I like this sketch. I think this. when we got together to write okay, everybody. this season, Who's this was ready our to first play? Week. Yeah, yeah that's one of the first Didn't we have to rewrite it because we lost it on the computer or something? Yeah. Too? Okay, I've just uh, been yeah. informed by our we legal lost, like, team. We lost a bunch of sketches. We, we wrote a bunch of sketches, then my computer died. The show that way. We had to so, uh, retype them all out. I think we still use those ones. Yeah. So, yeah. kids, if you're going to write sketch comedy, make sure to back up your sketches. Back up. Back, back, up. back it up. Email them to each other, get an external hard drive. It's really easy to do. Yeah, we're just done. But it's the same character from the dating game. Yeah, because now we can spell Napa. No, I've been on TV before. That's a reference to the fact that it's the same character. Something yeah, you're yeah. legally bound to tell us. I'm a convicted child molester. See, every sketch the guys in, you okay. learn something new well, about them. <laughs> Let's play the game. I saw this happen on Real Quick Man. Oh, yeah, it's based off that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we went to a tape that you did before. This was a solid game of shooting. I heard that this is Pat Sajak's favorite sketch of ours. <laughs> he is a big fan, but this is definitely yeah. well, his favorite. Well, he was like watching it, and he was like, oh my god, can you imagine if that happened? Yeah. And he tells me, he tells me it's funny. He calls Vanda like this. It's funny because it's true. Alex Trebek loves this because he's like, fuck that shit. Yeah. Vanna White was kind of like, no, I get it. This is not that funny anymore. <laughs> of money, okay? My favorite character in the right. sketch is the audience. Now. Yeah. yeah. I like the so other storyline of the audience just waiting to like yell. Yeah. I like that they don't show the word right. that they're supposed to be oh, guessing yeah. ever. So you just spin the wheel in this game. Yeah. There's nothing else yeah, to it. Right. You, you, you win the amount of money you get, and uh, really the <laughs> there's no challenge. Not so That's kind of what game shows are like now. <laughs> it's going, it's going okay. to the future yeah. of the big it's games. It's, it's like, which briefcase do you pick? Oh, you might have won a million dollars. <laughs> no, no, stop, 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 stop saying it like that. Stop saying it like that. Okay, I know. Thank you. Thank you. My poor guy. He okay. has so much going on. Yeah. And this is the yeah. pilot. <laughs> I know. He put all his own money into the show. I know. I will. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? I did it wrong. Huh? Yeah, you did. I know. Let's do his hand. hand. So do a shot. shot. Do half of a Please, shot. For the love of God, let go of the wheel of money. Steve's hand. Man, you need to read that card. Pretty One drunk right now since playing the yeah. game, right? <laughs> let go of the wheel. It's so cold. I like well, there's spaces that just have like a pink no, triangle on them. And mm -hmm. no, you can't. <laughs> Now, those are the spaces let's move to get on that to our you next support. contestant. Yeah, right. Yeah. Contestant number three's name is... It's an uneventful part of the show, but it's like... No, it's, 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 it's meaningful. It's nice. It's warm. Really yeah. Aubrey's, <laughs> Aubrey's a friend of ours who plays Trevor's ass in, in season two. Yeah. I love how fascinated Zach is with Theron's arm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just <laughs> noticed. One thing to you. And I was like, <laughs> 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 like, he's messed up too. Like, <laughs> he's just like, wow, well, everybody's hurt. When did that happen? <laughs> this guy's just high as hell. Yeah. Oh, sure. That's all I'm gonna do. He's just do. like a stone just hockey player in a suit. Spinner and let her go, all right? Is, Spinner is that accent correct? Sure. Spinner and let her on go. Sure. Her on go. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Look at this yeah. fucking mannequin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Oh, oh, I'm blinking. Oh. Shouldn't be blinking. Doesn't that happen? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Oh, my God! So they're all That's dead. the first thing well, we shot in this season. Just around as fast as you can. If we don't fill up 22 minutes, we'll never get picked up. Just stop! Hit the applause sign. <laughs> <laughs> wow, doesn't that look like that other logo kind of? No. No? <laughs> I forgot how long this goes. Yeah, I like it. It's crazy. Remember the first one? Well, that show was... Look at all those plants. Oh, I don't season. see the chem plant. I think he's to the left. He's just to the left. Come on the left. Come on the left. So now you got to come in the left of your mouth. Let's go to London. <laughs> <laughs> There's another plant behind me the whole time. Now it's time for five seconds uh, with a butler upon his first arrival I always love in Haiti. Because you hate Haiti. Right. He hates oh, butler. My. <laughs> <laughs> <And> that <was laughs> That's probably really how it would go. Butler upon his first arrival in Haiti. Um, no, I like that he took a boat to Haiti. Yeah. Because most people take boats from Haiti. Well, Haiti doesn't have any airports, so. Oh, really? Day four. Not after what happened. <laughs> Tom Fickle like, all right. His peak of Mount Gudo no more long and arduous. This sketch was directed by Werner Herzog. He's now 100 miles <laughs> yeah. from civilization. So it's named after the guy that wrote Candle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Mount Gudo. Yeah. It's Weird. a true story. I mean, there was... Yeah. As he nears the peak, food it's and small drink town. become more yeah. and more scarce. Watch your step. Oh, yeah, there's a boulder. Oh. oh, no. Oh, cutting the camera. All right. <laughs> Everyone at home should use their imagination that there were a lot more boulders. <laughs> 
pinned beneath a large boulder with no one around to come to his aid. <laughs> if you couldn't get away from that, you deserve Put to die. Put the camera down and help me! <laughs> attention, this man will like surely die in the right of this very spot. All of which you will see in this documentary. Uh, what? As my crew sets up camp with a long wait, the man ponders his life and comes yet. to grips with his fate. Uh, there's another fake rock in the background. Are we doing this? Hey, there's Trevor, everybody. Copy that. Is that <laughs> no, Rick! We, was that actually... Can, we can actually I get you water? Yeah, I think so. I was really been... Caleb! Caleb! Help me! I wonder how many times I've been Caleb. Yeah, I was just gonna say, we used Caleb. Caleb. Like, I think it might be time to retire. <laughs> Minutes no. turn to no? hours. Hours turn I'm to days. I'm almost sick of hearing. How long can you... <laughs> Caleb, fetch me that tripod. You're just sick of watching our show. Tripod! <laughs> that is true. I'll see you guys later. Conditions. I'll leave and you can all talk about it. fucking my relatives in the last few seconds. No, just for now. We haven't met my other relatives. I love this music. I have a hot grandma. <laughs> Nerf. This I, I mean styrofoam. I was actually sitting there for like a half hour while we did this. I think it was lunchtime too. No, it wasn't. It was getting close to lunchtime. We have burritos. Two Two hours that's exactly. That was like, Dallas. It was Call girl. <laughs> it was 13 minutes away from lunchtime. We had burritos. No, I was already eating lunch. You guys are out doing this. Fortunately, the dying process was sped up when he was struck in the head by another large rock. What? No. No, that rock. No, the one you were just playing with. He was just playing. Him with this? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Trevor will just do anything. Murder that guy, huh? Fuck it. No, no, seriously, seriously, no, no! Smush! <laughs> <laughs> I got you there. Yeah? Yes! This is a you sketch where I got to see. drive a bus awesome. around. Whoa, check it out. And her boobs, this girl's boobs have been in every season. Yep. Yeah. There yeah. they are again. God bless her. God bless her. Oh, man. She's I the love best. Sex. Yeah, the back seat's the Stripe ball. shirts. Oh, Do you want to throw the boobs and the window? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh they were in Falling Ladies. Falling yeah. Ladies. Uh. And did you use the date, yeah. And what? Did you use the date? Awesome! Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. That was the first time we saw her boobs. Yep. <laughs> but it wasn't the last. <laughs> we, we got, got season a four. four more years. <laughs> hey, do you want to throw some of my lunch out the window? Absequently. <laughs> It's really a phrase I use. Yeah. <laughs> it's my thing. This is based off of the floor. I was really throwing this out the window. <laughs> yeah, we had a car following us. I had to like get out and pick up all this stuff so we weren't littering. That was ridiculous. I like Sam giving me the stink guy back. That's good. Oh man, that was awesome. <laughs> now I don't have any lunch though. It's okay, buddy. You can have some of mine. This kid looks into the camera. Yes, My food is here. The I love the back of the bus. Yeah, it was great. I really calm you. Great school. Yeah. Yeah. So we go on field trips. If you think about the it, it's not really the back that bad. Where it's like a, a two. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was yeah, really that was cool, awesome. guys. It's kind of like just <laughs> yeah. being really nice. What does Martin say in The Simpsons? Like, think about it. The probability of mischief is inversely proportional to one's proximity to the authority figure. This kid in the bus was able to figure out how to put a mic and between his teeth and squeeze it so it squirted juice all over. It's because it. Plays on man. That's I guess flaw. <laughs> yes, what the hell are you doing? Can you believe that it's part? It's like <laughs> so low and blade. Yeah. Like it just starts with like Timmy going. So just this kid actually works on your on your, on your right. school buses. Yeah, did you have uh, yeah. those guys that would wear the it's orange like, belt? What are they no, called? Crossing guards? No, not. But they're like ball monitors. Yeah, but they're bus bus aides. My brother was one. Bus guards or something. And I, uh, I was in kindergarten, and I did like a flip over the seat in front of me, and landed. My brother reported me, and, like sent me to the office, like the next day, because I was going home. And I spent the whole walk home crying and pleading with her. I got your banana. We uh, uh, the back seat's off. one day on the bus we were on, we were so bad to the bus driver that the bus driver Captain's turned it around and brought it back 14, to the school. 20, really? And then the vice principal was like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Take these children <laughs> home. The parents are expecting their kids and they're not there. <laughs> Growing. That's the image of which was always just beyond our reach. But now, with the innovation of modern computers, America we can still exists in the far from the Alpha Centauri system <laughs> and literally and slingshot ourselves yeah. 300 times the speed of light. Within moments, we'll pass through the edge of space and be the first astronauts to travel into the void. Yeah, I know. Oh. I'll just check Trevor, my I'm thermal spectrum vision here way. to see how far we are away from the edge. I know what of it does. Oh. Good. That'll save me a lot of breath. We can talk about other things that he's Steve Buscemi in Fargo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what the hair looks like. Totally. Side and they space. have this yeah. conversation. Yeah. See how you like it. Total fucking silence. Total fucking silence. <laughs> I haven't watched that movie in a while. Wait, does he have that hairstyle? 
Does he have that hairstyle? No. No, oh, it kind of no. comes down. It's kind of yeah, thin, too. It's, it's like kind of straight. Kind of the way, the way. No, that kind of thing. Yeah. And he does that exact look. <laughs> <laughs> we stole the sketch from him. His brother saw me do stand up once and like. I, I remember seeing Buscemi. We can talk about whatever. Good. And who? Uh, I will use my spectra vision now to see how far we are away from the edge of. Steve Buscemi did Kelly? We're coming up on the Hawking's Wall right now. Really? Start the captain's log. Hawking's this log. is their sketch. Instruments tell us yeah. that we are <laughs> three <laughs> seconds <laughs> away from the edge yeah. of space. Yeah, Sam looks like that guy. Two that seconds. City, uh, one second. <laughs> the guy and with it's all red. Oh my god. The void is red. I bet this is what would really happen. Well, yeah. That must this is be because. Your travels through. This, this is, is a. Wow. Well, this is Carl Sagan's theory, right? The, the, I have the no idea why that is. That's his book. Space is red. Outside of space is red. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Did your heart stop? Cause mine did. That's what Scientologists believe, right? Uh, I believe it then. No, they believe that aliens <laughs> live inside your brain. Oh. Right. Right. I don't know if they. There's I don't know if they have anything That's crazy weird. like spaces. Is red. it weird? Right. Like <laughs> <Anything> <laughs> that would be crazy. Here. That's insane. Yes, so. <laughs> but the th you know, thetans do live in your head. Right. <laughs> now there's a duck. Well, I'm reading Dianetics again. I wonder what he wants. <laughs> again. You see a duck? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Well, why don't you just Can go I get a free meal? Because Scientologists. Meal they feed you? Yeah. No, they'll feed you. They'll give you a stress Wait, test. If you join Scientology, no, no, they'll you don't even have to join. You? Just go over here. Hey, that any of you visiting New York City on 44th Street, well, that's uh, Scientology the just Center, they'll give you a free lunch and a stress test. Yeah. I want and, then and they'll even show you a movie. Yeah. You eat. And they'll Move never leave you alone after that. Yeah. Duck terrier thing. So. We're good. They'll make you uh, start a movie about Cayman Funny Aliens and become real with this. Battle, battle, battle ground. Very petrified. We don't need any. It's cool. Big fake rubber hand. Dreadlocks. Barry Pepper, whose birthday is the same uh, as Trevor. I don't know yep. how to say this, but really? We looked that up the other day. I should call him a lot of spaghetti. Sam is eating a delicious That's looking parfait right now. Because I'm an English gentleman. <laughs> is my head a giant eyeball? No. Because no. it feels just like a That's giant. That's actually an outtake. Sam was just doing that. No, it's <laughs> <laughs> nothing to do with the sketch. I did acid that day. Me? Yeah. Anyway. That day? <laughs> that actually happened once. That was one of the days that I did acid. That's my sh There you go. This happens sometimes. <laughs> Maybe we should just turn around now, sir. Agreed. Three hands. Yeah. And I believe uh, that's Steve's arm, right? Okay. Yep. Take a drink. Shot. Okay. That's Steve's uh, upside down sand face. Now we're going home. Back safely. Well, I don't think we've ever really written really anything well stuned. I'm sure we? mine will. No. Oh, by the way, how Never. Do you know we have either. Day, sir? Oh, when we went to High Times and they interviewed us, that was the very first time. We were just like, like, so, do you guys write when you're stoned? We're like, no, they're like, okay. They like crossed out three pages. What the fuck are we going to talk about now? Oh, God. Don't they know we like to talk about pot? I didn't know you guys smoked. I thought that's Uh-oh. This was the girl that would, that, uh, when we, yeah. when we said we're voting for Obama, she goes, you, you know he's not a real Republican, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. I was like, yeah. What, and, and she was, I was like, yeah, that's why I'm not voting. She goes, but you're a Republican. And I go, no, I'm not. And she's like, yes, you are. And I was like, no, I'm not. And she's like, yes, he is. And Sam's like, no, he's not. <laughs> it was really so a real weird. Republican. Grown-ups love each other very, very much. Most they kids are Republicans. Most, most, kids, most kids think Republican <laughs> means white. <laughs> <laughs> Which in most cases. <laughs> right, right, right. Okay. Sometimes mommies and daddies will sleep together. So many bathrooms. And their bodies will connect out of love. Does that make sense? I think so. Those posters, like the one of the fruit, uh, the one of the animals, like, had the weirdest for descriptions and decades, decades with Remember? mommies. Yeah. yeah. Daddies like, translated. Sort of, you know, so either her name is Ellie, tired of it all. or she's a big fan of the movie Belly. Her name is Ellie. Or it's Kelly, and there's no K. She loves Belly. Yeah. Or, yeah. or maybe the, the artist Nelly. <laughs> she might be really into Nelly. Well, kids love the movie Belly, but they also right. do. Love well, kids love DMX love films Nelly. in general. Were you hurting the dog? <laughs> maybe the food jelly. She mm. might really like jelly. Oh. Mm. She could be horrible at writing no silly. <laughs> Don't be silly. <laughs> Quit being so silly. Maybe. Yes. No. Sam, have you ever slept with them? Well, do moms connect with donkeys with too? Donkey. He goes to Mexico yeah. a lot. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you, you saw a donkey show. Yeah, I did. Oh, yeah, this is a real story. Jim saw a donkey show. Jim saw a lady jerked off. Donkey. Jerked she jerked off. it off. She didn't, didn't get in her. No, uh, I love no. this one. Do you want to see me? But, um, the Zach, do you have this t-shirt? dead looking around. I don't think I do have this t-shirt. Man, someone should get this t-shirt. Just kind of just... Come in, have a seat. I was like, 
I gotta do this show eight more times today. I gotta check this donkey off eight more times. Or maybe I did take this shirt home and my girlfriend was like, nope. <laughs> I'm like, what's what's up? Up? <laughs> I think she just like, um, it's I don't know. Fuck this job and fuck Why Ryan. Shirt, yeah. Why would she be upset? It's casual that? Fridays. Oh, well, I was like, I'm gonna wear it, it's gonna be Brian. really cool. She's like, man. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> his girlfriend's name is Brian. Casual. <laughs> <laughs> her name you is said job. we could wear t-shirts on casual Fridays. You said that last month. Yeah, but your shirt says... There's that plant. Job. There it is, jerk it, kids. Yeah. <laughs> this time I want you to come into a slingshot and then oh, try and sling it hard into your mouth. It's just that plant's in the show more than Steve is. Yeah. Yeah. And Timmy. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> and Timmy. What, you want me to go change my shirt? There's another plant to the right. Well, yeah, I do. So, but that's weak grass. Cemetery's great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> hey, kids, I'd like you to rate our commentary. Log on to whitestkids.com and <laughs> let us know okay? what you think. Here's what to do. First season was fun, right? <laughs> right? Watch a... We promise next time someone will show up late. Watch an, any movie and find out how many plants you see in it. And leave it on our website. And that way we can just start rating what movies have how many plants in them. That's a weird request. Casual Fridays. Okay, let me get this straight. Last Jungle office. movies don't count. You go up to the yeah, no, no, no. yeah. There's gotta be potted plants. Could be office. Intentional plants. Wally. Wally has like one plant. Give you your drink yeah. and your wow. first reaction. Good, good. But it's a good F movie. This job. So long. And F. <laughs> you should That's call it Longy. Longy. <laughs> that was my favorite part of the commentary. The last part. Wally? <laughs> yeah, the whole Wally conversation. <laughs> <laughs> We're just talking about Wally. I'm just talking about Wally. <laughs> I just found something. And my, my favorite part was when uh, Jim was talking Jim about and, American Psycho. Jim and Timmy got a heck of weird kind of standoff about it. <laughs> Wally was done, Peter! I love this. Oh, here we go. Right now, right now, is this like the consensus the favorite sketch? Or? This, the ending of this sketch, the, the trumpet at the ending of this, used to go for like... 45 seconds. Oh, 30 seconds. It was like a minute and a half. I think we ended at... What is it now? The longer it was, it was funnier. These are the two cops from uh, Rape Roleplay in season one. There's that girl, we could tell it really crazy. Because he yells, Oh yeah, we could tell that story. The, the shit smell? Right now, the right now, Steve a Sink. A girl in the oh, last yeah. shot ripped Steve, the, the shot guy, the guy you have to do a shot, ripped the sink out of his bathroom right when she crashed on his couch. Yeah. It's pretty rad. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? <laughs> yeah, you didn't hear this story? Yeah, you did? Yeah, she like wanted. I was having the party at my house. Uh -huh. She was there. And uh, she invited herself back to Steve's place to crash. So when he woke up, uh, uh, had a guy do it. Reeked of vomit, but he couldn't find the vomit anywhere, and the sink had been ripped out of the wall of his bathroom. How did she do that? Nobody knows. Holy shit. This is my favorite ending to a sketch. Yeah, 